Hi, I'm Jason Hicks with Westchester Lawn and Garden, and today we want to take a minute to talk to you guys about um, fuel and the problems that you're creating in our industry. Um, it's creating pretty big problems in these smaller engines um, that are still running on carburetors. Um, ethanol seems to be the cause of it all, which is um, basically a filler that they're putting in gasoline to lengthen the amount of time that the world's petroleum source will last. Um, currently, this last fall, they just upped the ethanol rating um, at gas pumps to 15%, so they're now allowed to put up to 15% ethanol in fuel um, that you get right out of the gas pumps. Um, ethanol basically is an alcohol product, which is going to draw moisture. Um, carbureted engines also don't run very well on it. Um, so it's becoming a problem for us in our walk mowers and some of our smaller uh, ride-on products as well. Um, we have a couple solutions uh, for our customers. One of them is called True Fuel, which is this can here. Um, basically, both of these are going to be a true ethanol-free gasoline, so there's no ethanol mixed in these whatsoever. It's a canned product. Um, it's not sold in, um, like, at the gas stations, but you can get it at some dealerships. Um, we carry it, for instance. Um, and again, it's a high-test, ethanol-free, um, good, pure gasoline, which, again, you cannot buy at the gas pumps anymore. Um, if you are going to use gas from the gas pumps, which most people are going to, uh, we, we are recommending that you bump up and get the highest test that you can get. So if it's 92 or 93 octane, um, that you buy that for your lawnmower and your handheld products. Um, when we've done some tests across the street at Kroger's, we have a fuel station across the street. Um, some of the uh, 87 gasoline we're getting right out of the pump can have as much as 20% ethanol in it, which is um, absolutely horrible for small engines. They, they'll either won't run or they'll run very poorly on that kind of gasoline. Um, what we're recommending uh, for customers to do, we know this is an expensive product, so it's not um, something that you're going to be able to afford to, to use day in and day out. Um, but we're recommending that people get some of this and store their products over the winter with this in it instead of the ethanol product. So um, run the gasoline out of the pumps, the highest test you can get throughout the year. Um, we do have a few customers that have went to this exclusively. This is all they're using because they have had some major issues with their engines. Um, but at least use this stuff in the winter time to store the product over the winter. Uh, that seems to be curing some of the problems of that ethanol-based fuel sitting in them over the winter and, and causing corrosion and, and other issues. So hopefully you found this helpful today. Uh, we uh, um, are trying to make some videos that are, are more helpful for you guys and hopefully alleviate some of your service issues. Um, and this is by far the biggest problem that we're seeing this year in the service department. Again, I'm Jason Hicks with Westchester Lawn and Garden. Um, if you have any questions, you can give us a call or you can visit us on Facebook.